Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Epic Realist. Here in this nice warm summer day. Or it's not even warm, I should say hot. Just walking around. Wish I can go somewhere and hike, like really hike. I'm just in my neighborhood chilling. Getting some exercise and sunlight. Admiring what nature I have around me. Because, what the hell? Wow. This is interesting. Okay. <laughs> Twisted branches and whatnot. So, I want to talk about how black people still don't give a fuck about nature. Um, if you've been following me for quite some time, you probably remember when I did a video about that last year. I believe it was last year or a year and a half ago, whatever. I did a video before where I said black people don't give a fuck about nature. And yeah, every day that shit seems more and more true. You know, you know some blacks are waking up and realizing you know, we gotta be connected to the earth in order to feel whole. We gotta be connected to the earth to feel fully whole. Fuck all the material stuff. That stuff doesn't matter, you know? Um, a lot of people are finally realizing that. Some slower than others, but you know, the most most of it is still true. It's still the same, of course. It's not that I expected it to change or anything. I just feel like talking about it again. Um. So, yeah, I get tired of people littering. I'm really sick of litter. Y'all know I fucking hate litter. People need to stop littering and enjoy what's around them because people don't realize, you know? One day when we all wake up, whether it's in my lifetime or my kids' lifetime, one day we're gonna wake up and there'll be no more nature left. And I kinda just, I just know that, just based on where this world's going and whatnot. There's gonna be like no nature left. There's going to be nothing but bots, and clones, and drones, and electronic shit all over the place. There'll be no more trees. There'll be no more um, leaves, possibly even the bugs we claim to hate. There'll be no more of them. There'll be no more leaves, and twigs, and branches, and flowers. We're already seeing less flowers these days. Have you guys noticed that we've been seeing less flowers? Have you even been paying attention? There's a lot less flowers on the ground, like, you know, literally coming out of the ground. Not flowers that you go buy. Then got a hold of the whole flower industry and, well, made an industry out of it. Um, if you noticed that, you don't really see much flowers coming out of the ground anymore. Especially, like, dandelions and whatnot. You used to be a shit ton of dandelions everywhere in the south. And you just don't see them anymore, really. And it's really sad. And black people need to wake up. Now it's sad that I have to say only black people, because technically it's not only black people. It's every race out here. That's not really admiring nature. People don't really care about nature. Some people they only go out to like hiking events or whatnot just because their friends suggested it or because they think it's cool and that's what they have to do to be, you know, culturally appropriate or whatnot. Um, or socially appropriate based on whoever else is doing it, but um, people just only do stuff to be cool and they don't really think it's cool, you know? You have to build that connection with nature um, yourself. You can't just do it just to say, okay, well, I got my exercise in. If you truly want to be connected to nature, you have to really ground yourself. You have to work on grounding yourself and you have to do a lot of self-reflection. You have to spend time with nature, you know? Just like you spend time with your family or anyone else. So yeah, you just gotta do that. And um... <laughs> Spider waves I think. The key to getting closer to nature is you just have to ground yourself in it and stay there. You have to work on it, you have to go out in nature and talk. You have to communicate with the trees and plants, look around and, you know, study, evolve, not evolve, 
one word. You have to um, get involved. I guess that's the right word. You have to get involved. God, there's so much trash out here. What the fuck? Anyway. You have to put yourself in the position where you want to be closer to nature. You have to talk about it. You have to want it. You have to open your eyes to what's been around you the whole time. You have to be aware of yourself. Be aware of your surroundings. If you're not aware of your surroundings, how are you going to get closer to nature? Like, you just can't. You have to be aware of your surroundings at all times. That's just important anyway. Oh my god. It's a mess back here. Kind of beautiful if it wasn't full of glitter and shit. But yeah, you have to. Caring about nature is important. We know the earth is dying and I'm sure that caring about it in some way will help prevent it from dying any faster. You know, and it will help you out, trust me. It really will. People think that having a connection with nature is just a joke, like it's some kind of, you know, silly thing to talk about. Like, oh yeah, it's playing trees. No. That was a ball or something. It's not. It's just a broken toy. But yeah, people think it's silly. People think, you know, being a tree lover is bullshit. And, you know, and actually enjoying being in the forest is bullshit. No, you're wrong. You're so wrong. Having a connection... Connection. Connection with where you were born is the best thing that you could ever do. It's important. It's more important for your spiritual health than you'll ever know. And it's just good to do so. It's good to care about nature. You can't just walk around and be like, I don't care. Nature ain't done nothing for me. Are you kidding me? Nature is providing you with the air you're breathing right now. Think about it. One day is going to be no more trees. How the fuck are we going to breathe, yo? They're already doing it these days. They're already planning for that shit. Why do you think they're getting us used to wearing masks? This whole ploy with, you know, the chemtrails and whatnot. I'm not gonna say too much on that, but you know, they're preventing us from breathing well as it is, so. Just imagine not being able to breathe, like little breathe. Trees are supposed to clean our air. Without trees, what are we? Without nature, what are we? We're nothing. Shit. We're nothing without nature. back to the purity of which things began is just <sighs> so great. Being in the forest is wonderful. I hate there's so many mosquitoes out here. So I think the uh, mosquitoes are doing the long hair, our engineer, to keep us out of the woods, you know. But um, that ain't cool either. But nature, trees, Imagine the days where trees were so much bigger. <laughs> it's just so good to be out here and oh, ouch, meditate. Who considered meditation to me? You know, this is my meditation time, y'all. This is how I meditate when I'm outside. I just go and spend time with nature because you have to. This is what grounds me. A lot of people wonder how I've come so far, how I've come to the point that I've gotten so sure of myself and so calm and peaceful and still nice and everything else. Yo, this is it. <laughs> when I first started getting back into nature about maybe three years ago, maybe two years ago probably, I don't know. I 
started feeling that sense of peace that I haven't had since I was a child, like a young child. When I desperately wanted to be around nature all the time. Because, I talked about this before, I was that child who grew up in New York. And you know in New York, don't have any trees hardly. But I was always that child that loved trees and plants. Like I always wanted to be around trees and plants. And returning to that as an adult after everything I've been through has been just great. It's just been helping. A lot. It ain't nothing complicated. It's just simple. Just spend time in nature. It's not that hard, y'all. It's not that hard. It's not bullshit. If you just do it, it's not letting society tell you, oh, ain't nothing out there, or it ain't good for you, or whatever. Or just get out of your head and get out of your comfort zone and just take a walk in some quietness and experience nature. You, I promise you'll feel better. So, goddamn these spider webs, though. Well, these squirrels. But yeah, I promise you. Life will start becoming clear. If you have a bunch of problems and you can't find the answer to your problems, go meditate in nature. I'm sure the answers will come to you. They will start coming to you because they've been coming to me. You know, like, seriously. There have been. You know, nature clears up a whole bunch of things for you. So, yeah. Um, start caring about nature. There's a lot more to it than what they tell us, or what they allow us to see, rather. So, um, yeah, that's probably all I've had to say, I'm not even sure. It's so beautiful here, though. I'm like, damn! I wish I could go so much deeper. Into these woods, though. Without the damn honking horn. Thank you. It stopped. Well, it's like so nice right here. You know, mosquitoes are eating my legs up right now. I need to keep walking so they won't. It's the most sucky part about nature. Um, I know there's an oil out there that you can put on your skin to propel bugs. I just haven't had a chance to buy said oil. One day I will. I need to. I don't need to because what is often as I come out here, and bugs eat me alive. Um, I just need it. <laughs> that off spray, off bug spray does not do shit for me, really. So, I barely use it. Doesn't do shit for my kids, either, so. Alright, go figure. But, yeah. You want to uplift your spiritual life heavily. Start paying attention to nature more. Just hang out to your tree. I mean, hang out with trees. Talk to your trees. Go on more walks. You know, take more hikes if you can. Go visit a mountain. Go climb something. You know, go to a nature park. Hang out by the waterfall. Anything you can do. And just watch how peaceful you'll be. You know, just watch how peaceful you'll feel. After you doing it, we'll get there, y'all. Promise. So, I believe that's all I have to say. I'm going to turn this off now, continue my walk. And I hope you guys um, think about what I said and be cool. I hope you guys are having a great day, minute, second, hour, and minute. Thank you for watching.